Hey what's up guys welcome to the part 7 of the tessellation series now in this video I'm going to go over the basic concepts of an equilateral triangle now let's just first understand what is an equilateral triangle so here on the QPD page you can read it here but the basic thing is that an equilateral triangle is the one which has all the three sides of the same length so the three sides they have the same measurements and all the internal angles that are the three angles that you can see here on this diagram are also of the same measurement that is 60 degrees now here inside affinity designer i have already created an equilateral triangle and now we are going to go over uh, the concepts of tessellation for this shape so as i have discussed in the part one of the tessellation series the basic concept is going to be we are going to cut parts of the shape and then either slide it down or slide it on the opposite side or uh, we rotate it at a certain angle so those were the basic concept so when it comes to an equilateral triangle we are going to use only one of those methods of the tessellation that is the rotation method and uh, in my opinion i think this is the only method that works on uh, an equilateral triangle the you know, translation and reflection methods do not work actually before we go into this shape let me show you another thing here so this is our you know, basic shape here uh, the way this tessellation works is that we cut out part from one side and then uh, rotate it on the other side it can be either of the two sides so either these two sides these top two sides or these bottom two sides so any of the two sides and the other thing that we do here in the tessellation of this shape is that we divide the third shape or the third side actually into half so we are going to cut part from this side and uh, rotate it on the other side this one on the opposite side but the third side that is this one we are going to cut it into half so this is the half and this is also the other half so whenever we are going to cut any part from this lower side we are going to rotate it around this center axis this bottom one the one that we have on this line and we are going to rotate it on this side so this is the basic concept of tessellation when it comes to the equilateral triangle now I have cut this bottom part but it is not really necessary you can uh, you know cut this side as well cut this side into half and you start from the opposite angle like that cut this one into half or you can cut this one into half but that would make it slightly difficult because it is easy to you know just cut this bottom one into half because it is horizontal line and simply drawing the vertical line to it you can easily you know, cut it into half so that is the easiest way but it also works on the other sides as well okay let me just hide this line and come to this shape now i have already cut apart from this side and from the lower side and if i just bring back this vertical line you can see that this part this red one should ends up here and then we can create tessellation now before i start rotating and do other things let me show you different ways you can you know tile this shape so one of the easiest way would be to create a copy of this one and then simply you know slide it like that and then slide it again like that and then you know select the rows of that create a copy flip vertically and then you know place it like that so this is how we can tile the rest of the document in this way so this is one way to tile it another way to tile would be just simply select this one create a copy flip vertically and then create this diamond shape like that and then we can simply tile this diamond shape like that and create the other copies and actually fill the last rest of the document like that and but by, by the way this these are the different methods that you can use on a regular triangle not when you have uh, you know when you are trying to create tessellation from it that is not this is not the way we are going to work when we are going to create the tessellation in the next video but this is just the concept that we can tile the document in different ways another way you can tile the document is just simply you know rotate it around this top axis maybe like that and simply rotate it like that create another copy and create this hexagon style shape and then you can use this hexagon style shape and uh, you know just 
place it here and then create another shape of this hexagon and fill these areas so this is how you can easily tile the document in different ways now let's come to the concept of uh, you can say a tessellation and in the tessellation what we are going to do is to cut one part uh, cut part from one side and rotate it on the other side so I have already cut this part from this side and now I'm going to rotate it on this top axis like that because uh, this is the top and this is the corner point where the other side meets this side so we cannot rotate it on this lower side because the other side is not meeting at this point anyway now we are going to rotate it and as soon as it snaps on the other side, I am going to leave it and then it comes to this bottom red one and I have already shifted that target circle icon here on this vertical line and I can simply rotate it like that. So this is how for, you know the tessellation on equilateral triangle works and let me just uh, group this one and then uh, let's just create try to tile it. So I have already the basic shape here and I'm going to bring this group inside that triangle, the basic one. So now that I have put everything inside this basic triangle shape, I can create a symbol from it, you know, just to easily you know, illustrate this whole process of tessellation. And then I'm going to rotate it on these axes to create a hexagon shape. So I'm going to put this target area here, create a copy of this one and rotate it like that and then you know create a couple of copies to create that basic hexagon shape now that we have this basic hexagon shape let me show you how it looks when i bring the design outside that basic shape so this is how you can see that it is filling the whole thing you know creating this perfectly fitted shape and we can use that hexagon shape and fill the rest of the document for example and now i can create a copy of this one and place it here in this location it should snap but if it does not i think i will have to you know check this snapping option here but anyway we are going to go over that in the next video currently i'm just going to show you that okay, this whole hexagon shape this fill, fill perfectly again i'm going to set all of these create a copy of these and then try to you know position it here to fill the whole document like that and then you can see that we have all these shapes fitting perfectly now you can of course see these gaps here that is why that is because we have not uh, you know snapped in perfect locations but you get the concept that this is how we are going to tile the tessellations when we are going to create it in the next video so this was just the basic concept of the tessellation on an equilateral triangle just to recap that we are going to cut part from one side rotate it on the other side and the third side we are going to divide it into half we are going to cut part from one of that half and rotate it on the other half and this is how we are going to get our tessellation on an equilateral triangle now in next video we are going to use the same concept and apply it on a you know an actual triangle and try to create a, a real pattern from it using the technique that we have already discussed in the previous videos so guys hopefully the basic concepts of tessellation on an equilateral triangle are clear to you and if something is confusing you can ask me in the comments below and i'll be happy to help you and um, hopefully i'll see you in the next video and thank you for watching